Well, we'll turn our minds to another issue now. It's tomorrow is going to be World Anti-Trafficking in Persons Day. And uh, it's a big issue. Joining us in the studio to discuss this matter is Orakwe Arinze, who is the Director, Public Enlightenment Department at NAPTIP. Thank you for coming on the program. Thank you so much, Mabe. Yes. Yeah, so tomorrow, we're raising a very big issue. I mean, we've been seeing issues of people still trying to cross the Mediterranean, a lot of Africans, especially, you know, sinking in the sea. Are Nigerians a part of that group? Yes, lots of Nigerians are part of that group because uh, if we pick up the typical slogan that uh, one out of every four black person is a Nigerian, you can imagine. Uh, and besides that, NAPTIP is in touch and in contact with our partners in uh, Italy, in Spain. In, uh, and uh, so they've, they, 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 they've, they've, they've spoken to them, they've interviewed them, and they've, they've uh, we know that there are lots of Nigerians. Uh, one that stands out is uh, the last uh, intervention by the Spanish police that arrested uh, over 20 Nigerians uh, that are cultists from IA confraternity in Nigeria that have actually translocated themselves to Spain and they are now running a trafficking rings and a prostitution ring and sex reduction ring. So there are lots of Nigerians that are there, that have been trafficked, that are all of them, in the, no, no thanks to the, the, the recession, and uh, they, they are there all in the search for greener pastures in Europe. Do we have statistics of how many Nigerians leave the country, especially through the desert routes, to try and get out to so-called greener pastures? We know the number is huge, it's staggering. But we don't have statistics like that, reliable statistics, because these are under the radar crime. It's not crime that you put a finger and say, or oh, people come to report and have to that we are migrating list of all illegal, illegal migration. And uh, so uh, these criminals, uh, you don't have statistics, but the fact is that it's, if, even if it's one, that it's not good enough. One child is bad enough that is a Nigerian. You know, we're losing our bed and our best and our brightest, and we're asking people to know that these things are happening. Uh, the triggers are there, you know, for, because each child is from one community in one local government of one state that automatically makes him a Nigerian. And that is not acceptable that this will, would have to die in the horrendous way they are dying, becoming feeds for fishes. You know, the, 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 uh, the alarming rate that these things are happening, it's, it's, it's why we are uh, the, it became necessary for Nigerians to, for NAPTIP to, you know, raise the concerns and ask Nigerians to, you know, let's, let's mount necessary roadblocks and make them understand that the streets of Europe are not paved with gold. There are very few countries that can stand on their own right now that are not going through economic recession. So I wonder why it became, why we, the rush, you know, I, I understand the, 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 the economic downturns and the recession, but it's, it's not a reason, it's an excuse. Uh, is it on the decline? Because, you know, this campaign has been on for a while. At yeah. some point, you know, it was a pet project of a, of a I think, the second lady, of yeah. a second lady, Titi yeah. Abubakar, yeah. at that point in time. Yeah. And there was plenty of awareness. Yeah, and, so. you know, a lot of Nigerians assumed, okay, people are aware of this now. Perhaps it should be on the downturn. Is that the case? No, it, it's, it's not the case. It's not the case. The awareness has grown quite all right. But uh, uh, we, people have hardly ever left the cesspool of decadence that, that uh, came as a result of the the longest uh, 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 intervention in the uh, military. We had social infrastructures that uh, collapsed. We had uh, uh, poverty, which was one of the cases that the last Director General of NAPTIP insisted that governors must intervene. But the interventions were merely lip service, and they never, they never did anything. Rather, it became uh, 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 avenues for cronies of, of them to begin to fester, feather their own nest. So, uh, it, it's, it's just a fleet. Yeah, corruption, it's, it's, that, it's, it's an issue. Because, I mean, it's, it, we, the demands of corruption is everywhere. You know, we feel it when children cannot go to school. We feel it when children, there are no medical facilities for, to, for children to, to, to attend to children. We, we see it in, in, in the, 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 even, even, the, even those who cannot. Do not, I don't know how many of us have asked ourselves, what has institutions like uh, the, the scholarship boards doing so that people who cannot afford to, indigent people who are intelligent, who cannot afford to go to school, should access these agencies of government to make sure that they go to school. And again, you have issues of uh, collapse of family values and the collapse of uh, loss of shame and guilt. And so these are the things. Poverty is, I understand. But you see, Nigeria is not the poorest country. And we keep asking people 
What is it that will make you? And they get, why did it become an issue left strictly for women? When did poverty become feminized that, you know, it's, it's the girl child that will become the chattel to be sold, not to stop, uh, to stop going to school so that the boys alone can go to school. And these are the issues that we keep, uh, we ask people to please, let's just stand, stand back and chew distance. Is, is it right? Is it proper? And when did it, when did it become the responsibility of the child to provide meal? For the families, why does the girl has to go to stop to school or be trafficked? I'll, I'll give you a case. There, there was a case in Benin of a, of a man who trafficked the wife to, to Italy. The wife went there and spent four years there. And trafficked I, his wife. Trafficked his wife to Italy. The wife went there and spent four years in Italy and fell in love, according to her, with the man, but he was a scam, and brought the man back here. The, the man insisted that, an Italian, that he was going to marry her. And he, he brought the man back here. By the time they got to Lagos, they bought a car. The man bought her a car and said, okay, fine, let's go and do the Lumpitio rights in, in Benin. And when they got to Benin, it was a scam. The, ma the oldest woman now brought the husband, presented the husband to the man, to the, to the, 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 that's the Nigerian husband, to the, the proposing husband from Italy, as the, as the, the, the father. And the man said, yes, I, I, there's an unfinished building which uh, uh, is where the, the, the mother of this girl is, is, is buried and it has to be completed before you do the, that's the tradition in Africa. They scammed this man of thousands of euros before the man left. And that marriage never, was never con concluded. So, you see, these things are there. They, people traffic their wife, people traffic their daughters. Can that really be con considered trafficking? Because, you know, trafficking, some people imagine that it is uh, involuntary. You, you're a vulnerable person, you've been told, you know, that, that is, abroad is going to be El Dorado, and so, you know, you're taken away. That's what people, you know, consider trafficking, uh, at least in, in their minds. But when a husband and wife do it in active connivance, mm. can that really be trafficking? No, no, it's a, a trafficking because somebody is exploiting somebody. So long as you do it, you, you move somebody. I'll give you, I give you, I give you, I give you a, a, a definition. You know, it's, it's somebody moves somebody, movement of person from one place to another, uh, you know, as a result of uh, 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 having been told lies, deceit, or, or abuse of positions of authority, and for exploitative reason. The man did not partake of the transaction in Italy. But he partook of the transaction in Nigeria. The woman brought back this, this man back, and they, they, in complicity with the man, they scammed, they scammed the man, you know. So the, the fact is that this woman was exploited in Italy because there was a madam in Italy who took part, the large chunk of the money. Mm. Okay? So it, it's, at, at the end, again, what we do not, we, the, 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 you can't consent. Consent of a victim is immaterial in as well as the law of a human trafficking is concerned. Mm. So you tell know. us, what, where are the areas where NAPTIP is actually taking the campaigns to? I mean, where are people getting this message from NAPTIP that, you know, you should be aware that you, you could be trafficked, you don't, don't, be, uh, you don't fall for this, the, the scams and, and so on? Yeah, part of what the, the, this, uh, the world against human trafficking is set to achieve is that the United Nations considered it uh, a crime that shamed us all. Because it's besides arms trafficking, this is the largest money spending, uh, spinning uh, crime, criminal activity for criminals, for their networks. So uh, the UN set up this day, uh, and that which actually is on its heart today, uh, to, to ask state parties to raise the awareness, to raise concerns, you know, draw the concerns, and they get stakeholders to recommit ourselves to issues of human trafficking, and again, to begin to mount necessary roadblocks. Uh, uh, the, the, the thing about Nigerian's case is that we are, we are, a, a, we are not just a, a transit country, we are a destination country and a source country. So victims are taken away from Nigeria, victims are brought into Nigeria, and victim, victims hang out in Nigeria, uh, maybe on, on their journey to some other places. It, it is not something complimentary to say, but that is the situation. You know, because uh, the complicity that is, we, we, we see you know, when we mention a do state, it's not just peculiar to a do state. Every state, even my own host state in Anambra state, the last time we had a meeting with the governor of Anambra state, we told him, Your Excellency, this thing is happening in Anambra state. It's happening. And the dimensions are not just local dimensions, international dimensions, they are local dimensions. People are trafficked from Ekwaibon, people are trafficked and brought to Abuja, they are house helps. People are trafficked from uh, Ebony, they brought to Abuja, people are trafficked from Nasawa and they brought, brought, brought into Abuja, Lagos State, 
There's one mama Yabo from, from uh, Crossover who goes there, brings children, and shares them to homes, shares them to homes where they become house help. After two months, he finds another place for them, comes, tells you that uh, uh, the, the grandfather of this particular girl that is living with you has to, have to do the burial, and they are moving the girl away from you. And before you know, you think she's going home to Calabar. She's not. If you, by the time you go to VI, they find another place and she's collected money. So that's trafficking. People are exploiting people just because of what we consider poverty. Mm -hmm. And I keep saying it's not a, it's not a reason. It's just an excuse for crime.